Hello my fellow Brickheads, it is I, Galaxy of Bricks here with another LEGO set review for you and today we're going to be reviewing this which is set number 75320, the Snow Trooper Battle Pack that was released in January 1st, 2022. It's currently retailing in the UK at £17.99 and $20 in the US. It comes with 105 pieces and also four minifigures and a couple of accessories now just to give you a little bit of backstory to this set this set is based in the empire strikes back specifically spoilers ahead for those of you who have not watched star wars or haven't seen the empire strikes back there are going to be mild spoilers throughout so go to the end of the video if you want to hear the spoilers we'll see what happens so as i was saying this is based in the battle of hoth and the snow troopers are the ones who storm Echo Base and defeat the Rebels as Han, Leia and Chewbacca and C-3PO are all trying to escape. The set comes with four minifigures, three standard snow troopers, which are really nice. You get two standard blasters, like so. I'll show you there. There you go, yeah. Two standard blasters, and you get one of the larger blasters, which I think is meant to mimic one of the heavy blasters that you um, you get in some of the other sets, which is quite nice. You also get a scout trooper as well, and that is one of the exclusives, I think, that sets this set really out. They could have done four snow troopers, but they didn't. They did, they did one scout trooper, which I think is really nice. As stated in my Imperial Marauder review... All Imperial figures now come with varying headpieces. So, for example, this is your Scout Troop headpiece, which is quite nice. And then you get three different pieces for the Snow Troopers. So you get one like that. One like that. And you get one like that as well. Which is nice. It, it just means that with your figures, you're not all getting the old angry clone face, which has been a big part of Lego figures for quite a while. You know, up until I think it was re like the last year or two years, we all had the same face. Now they give them a bit of variation, which is quite nice. Now this set, for a little bit of trivia for you, this set is actually a modern interpretation of a set that was released in 2009. And that was set number 8084. Again, entitled the Imperial Snow Trooper Battle Pack. That set had two Snow Troopers, an AT-AT driver and General Veers, which back in the day, I never owned, unfortunately. I stopped collecting Lego for a few years and 2009 was one of the periods where I didn't have that set, which is a shame, really. So to pick this up is really nice. It's an, for... People like myself who became collectors again a lot older in life, this is a nice making up for lost time sort of thing, which I think is really nice. The <laughs> the backstory, as I said, this is set in The Empire Strikes Back and it's the Battle of Hoth. You don't actually see scout troopers at the Battle of Hoth, but in canon and in some of the media of the old EU slash legends, they were there. They were at the battle and i think you can get a three and three quarter inch version of the scout trooper as well in his sort of hoth version of his armor which is quite nice now as stated before you've got a speeder bike which is a really nice build that's just to give you a bit of a context here now this is a more white and black version of the one that you would see in a lot of sets based in endor where it's brown now this is really nice build you've got room for one figure and you can put his posability is really nice so you've got nice flat good looking piece there you also get as well um a turret piece which is quite hefty actually to be honest with you for an, for a set like this you get quite a big selection of accessories so with that all you need to do is just push this push this new stud shooter piece down because this is not like the old ones where it was quite round and thin, this is quite chunky. So all you need to do for that is push that down, 
push it in and I'll get that later. That's that stud use is gone. <laughs> and also, which is quite nice, is you get this little sort of terrain sort of snowbank kind of piece. You can put one of your figures on the front here and you can sort of have them, you know, looking out over in the distance. Maybe they're about to attack a rebel position or they're waiting to sort of attack and get gather some intel on the rebel positions at Hoth, which is quite nice. Now, <laughs> one thing that drew me to this set, again, not just the figure selection, was the fact that it's just, for a battle pack, it's getting to a point now where the battle packs are going up a little bit in price. So a few years ago, they used to be reasonably priced. I think they were about 12 to 15 pounds. Now this is 17.99. And I think that's not too bad, considering what you get within this set. You know, you're getting four really good figures, one of them in particular being the snow, uh, the Scout Trooper, as well as getting a vehicle, a turret, and a little bit of terrain. That's really good. And I, myself, did my research into this set and these figures beforehand, before I did this video, and the Snow Troopers are not like the ones that they released a couple of years ago. So if you remember, in a couple of the other sets, they did um, a snow speeder, and they also did a couple of... Um, I think they did a couple of other sets where you got a snow trooper, but the torso print was the same, but the leg print was actually like a sort of a tanny beige colour as opposed to a grey. And that's... So these are, these, are the, these are the modern version. These figures are also found in the £189 Imperial ATST set that is currently listed on Amazon. I don't know the exact piece count of that one, but it's one that I myself am a bit 50-50 on because I like the set and I think it's different, but I don't know if I've got the space for it. <laughs> That's the issue. You can also get these in the um, UCS ATAT, which is something like over 6,000 pieces and it's about 600, I think it's like 690 pounds on the Lego site on Amazon, which is quite a lot. And I mean, if you are into your army building or you like to do your dioramas, your mocks, your displays, and you want to pick up a few of these and you only spend, you know, well over a hundred odd pounds or close to 700 pounds for snow troopers for it, this is a good alternative because you're getting three standard snow troopers and a scout trooper. You're not having to spend a large amount of money for those figures. And it's actually just a really nice set. I mean, battle packs for me, when I look at a battle pack that I want, accessories are a big thing as well as the figures. And I think getting these three things, so the turret, the speeder and the terrain, for £17 and the four minifigures, I think is really nice. And it's just, it's nice to have something to look forward to. And the, a couple of the sets that have been released in January, one of them being the ATST and the other one being the Defensive Hoth, uh, Defensive Hoth uh, minifigure pack, which is currently sold out in a lot of places. You can't get that anywhere. So if anybody does know where I can get a hold of the set, please let me know would be very much appreciated. Um, it's nice. There's clearly a very big Empire Strikes Back theme to the January line, which I don't mind. It's one of my favourite Star Wars films. As I said in my previous video, in one of my previous videos, the Empire Strikes Back is one of my all-time favourite Star Wars films. And to have something like this released now in 2022, when a lot of us were not able to get hold of the 2009 version is good, it's different, it's very much a way of being able to enjoy a set that isn't too big, it doesn't take very long to it doesn't take very long to build. It's a good gift for somebody if you want to buy them something small that's not going to be too um too strenuous, it's not going to be too much of a, a pain. This is really nice. I mean the age on the box is for six plus so if you if you've got a lot of Parents out there whose children are looking to get into Lego collecting, 
and they want a small set to start themselves off with, this is a really good alternative. You know, it's it's small, it's easy to build, it's from a good it's from a good movie, the figure selection's really good. And the um the accessories for it are really good as well. Now, this set has featured on my Instagram page. I've done a quick photo um, like photo a few photographs and a quick write-up of this set. This is the first in-depth time I've reviewed this set for my YouTube channel. So this I hope has helped some of you who are a little bit on the fence, should you get it, should you not get it. I hope this review has helped a little bit because I know that a couple of my um, subscribers and a couple of people who follow me on Instagram had got in touch with me and asked about this set because they knew that I had it. So this is for you guys. Would highly recommend you pick this up. It's different. It's a good It's a good piece to sort of pass your time if you've got a, few, a, a bit of time to kill. You can pick a couple of these up if you're into your army building because you can never have enough snow troopers. You can never have enough scout troopers. You know, so it's nice to actually get one of these to add to your collection. And £17 isn't too bad. You know, it's a good, solid piece for what you're getting. <laughs> so we're coming towards the end of the video now. Just a quick one for those of you who watched my first video at the start um the my top five imp uh, my top five bad guys in Star Wars, there was a brief error in my video which was pointed out to me by one of my subscribers. So thank you for that one. I didn't realise until I did the edit until after the edit was done and I'd posted the video that I'd actually made a mistake. And I'm gonna quickly clear that up now. When I reviewed Director Krennic and the Death Trooper, I mentioned that in the Director Krennic shuttle set you got Krennic, two Death Troopers, Buddy Rook and K2SO. I was also missing out one of the figures in that set, which was the Rebel Pow, who is, I can't remember the species that he is, but he's a very unique figure. He's an alien who features in Rogue One for a few minutes. Um, and he's a really cool figure. And I forgot to mention him as part of that set. So thank you very much for pointing that one out to me. Didn't want to um, give you false information. So thank you very much. I really should have done my research for that. Secondly, um... Those of you who got in touch with me on TikTok about my Imperial Marauder set and asked would I be reviewing any more January sets, yes, I will be. We've got one more set to do from the 1st of January line, which will be the ATST, which is a really good accompaniment to this set. Um, that will be up in the next couple of days. We also have a couple of older sets we, we're going to review as well, which is the... Um, Bad Batch shut, uh, the Bad Batch Shuttle released in the summer of 2021 and a set from 2016 that I was able to pick up on eBay. So that'll be coming up for you in the next few days. Until then, guys, the review is coming to an end now. So I hope this has cleared up any information, answered all your questions and has helped you make a formal decision about, you know, what you're going to do if you're not sure about this battle pack because... It's a really nice one. So until then, guys, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And also follow me on Instagram at Galaxy of Bricks. Also follow me on TikTok at Galaxy of Bricks. Until then, guys, have a lovely day. Keep yourselves busy. Keep yourselves safe. And I shall see you all very soon for the next review. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now.